Another extremely powerful tool in the premium tool suite uh, that is going to grow in functionality over time as more templating is developed is the library of node templates. Now there are a lot of situations where it's going to be more efficient and more effective to bring in a node out of a library than simply starting from scratch. Even something as simple as having a predetermined set of questions for something like a checklist or a predetermined set of deviations is a good enough reason uh, to look into the library of node templates. But also, going forward, a lot of operating companies, a lot of PSM experts are seeing a lot of value in having templates for certain pieces of equipment, for certain unit operations, or certain processes uh, that allow a PHA team to start with some known information instead of completely starting from a blank sheet of paper. This allows lessons learned from all across an organization and even all across industry to be incorporated into a, an individual site studies even though the personnel at that site might not be familiar with or have experienced some of the issues that are brought up, brought to light in these templates. So templates are very powerful and it the functionality is built into the premium version of Conexus's Open PHA. So what I've done is I've created a blank uh, document, just created a blank document. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a new node, insert the first node out of the library. So I go into premium tools, I click on library node templates, and then I say I want to import a node from a template. That brings up the import dialog box that is first going to ask, uh, well, which library do you want to pull the information out of? Uh, in the future, Conexus is going to spend more and more effort develop developing template nodes for multiple different pieces of process equipment and unit operations. Uh, but also, custom libraries are a good place for organizations to store library nodes for their particular pieces of equipment and the way that they do things. So in my custom library that I selected here, I have a fired heater slash boiler template uh, that is going to allow me to uh, speed up the process of doing LOPAs for the safety instrumented functions of a fired heater. So I select the template and then I pick which items I want to merge. And in this case, I'm just going to merge them all. But let's say I didn't want to merge the independent protection layers, uh, or I didn't want to merge the safeguards, I didn't want to merge the recommendations. I can select what I want to merge and what I don't want to merge. But let's just say I'm going to want to merge everything. I then click Import Node and get an error message. Well, I knew that I was going to get this error message because, or as opposed to an error message, it's more of a warning, basically saying that a lot of the information that can be contained in a node might be custom to the template that you're using. And specifically here, what we're most concerned about with is risk tolerance criteria. So if your uh, template that you just created, if you just created a new document and that document does not have the risk tolerance criteria that matches up with the risk tolerance criteria in the template, the software will do its best to fill in the information, but wherever there are conf conflicts, it's going to need to leave information out because it won't be able to resolve between uh, the difference between the target and the template starting point. Uh, but in this case, I know that everything is set up, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue. 
So when I did that, you'll see right away, uh, if I go to my list of nodes, it brought in that entire new node, fire heaters and boilers. And if I go over here to the local worksheets, you can see all of the information that it brought in. So uh, the first deviation is the first safety instrument function you would run into in a heater, which is going to be low pass flow. Uh, and it gives all of the information that you would expect out of a LOPA. Uh, so consequence descriptions, severities, TMELs, a whole range of potential causes, and for each of those potential causes, uh, a full range of the independent protection layers that one might expect to see in that application. So everything that you see here gives you a great starting point uh, for performing the study. And then what the team would do, instead of kind of starting from a blank sheet of paper, they start with the information that's in the template and customize it, modify, add, and delete to make it appropriate for their specific installation. But it's a great time saver, but more importantly, it lists a lot of different things to consider in terms of consequences, safeguards, uh, independent protection layers, uh, initiating events that might not be apparent uh, to the team that you have. So it gives a lot of good information as a starting point instead of just a blank sheet of paper. Furthermore, the templates that Connexus creates also are going to have a lot of general information and a lot of notes to help guide the user to implement the template. So just right here in the consequence, uh, you'll see that for the pass flow and tube rupture as a result of low pass flow, uh, there's a note that says the consequence of medium that's in the template uh, might be higher for extremely high pressures on the tube side. It also says that the consequences may be higher for extremely toxic materials on the tube side. So those are kind of considerations that are put in front of the team that's performing the analysis. So this feature I believe is going to become more and more prevalent as PHA becomes more standardized, templates are used, and information technology is utilized to improve the quality and efficiency of performing these studies. So now that was importing a study Exporting a study is also important because that's what the corporate PSM leaders are going to need to do to create those libraries uh, for your organization. And exporting is as simple, again, just a couple of clicks. So I go back to Premium Tools, uh, Library of Node Templates. Let's say I want to export a node. The first thing I do is select, well, which node do you want to export? Well, this study only has one, so I'll go ahead and select that one. It asks you what library you want to export into, and you will get a list of all the libraries that you have access to, and if you don't have access to any, uh, you can create a new library. I'm just going to say Ed's Custom. Uh, you type in what, what, whatever the name of the template is that you're trying to create. You click Export Node, and it is as simple as that. So that's the process of exporting and importing nodes into an open PHA study. Very valuable tool that we expect industry to use more and more in the future to increase the quality and efficiency of the PHA process.